this application, you may have seen some mention of it actually out on the boards out there. It's an application called Puzzle Touch. So basically, this is a Silverlight application. Uh, we're probably going to get a little bit of network latency. Well, it's actually running a little bit faster. The conference network was slow previously. So this application, it's running in the browser right now. I'm just going to pull up one of these uh, videos. It's a jigsaw puzzle application. And the application is called Puzzle Touch. However, it's completely you know, mouse usable. So if you were to publish an application like this, the changes in the UI for them to move it from a touch version to a, or from a mouse version to a touch version, it's actually, there's really nothing that's being done differently, aside from handling touch specific events for things like uh, panning and zooming where you may not do that with the mouse. So let me just go into one of these puzzles here. So what this app is doing is they've taken a you know, full motion video, they've sliced it into puzzle pieces, and then you can, you know, it's a casual game where you can actually just put the puzzle together based on the video pieces. But if we look at the experience, you know, all the actions of kind of you know, moving and navigating with the pieces, this is all translated as normal mouse movement. Sure, I'll sorry about that. I was trying to see if it was going to stop. So, um, a question from a test student. Windows 7 uh, has a test that is called Test of the iOS Unit from Microsoft that is doing something to do with that. So, this is very Windows 7 in that sense. Well, what do you mean when you say it's not as, it's not as sensitive? Because there's a lot of things that play into it. Like most tablets previously were, you know, there's different tablet screen technologies like resistive touch versus. Event reporting, I would imagine that from a, from a software standpoint, you would be seeing the same level of support. So, what in particular are you talking about? Just like when you try to type it. Mm -hmm. And I've done that for myself too. Yeah. It has a little bit of a delay. But there's so many things that are playing into this, it's, it's so hard to. I also developed for iOS. Yeah. touch-based devices with no additional development. 